turn your television sets down. Um, I've got a question here, Sheikh, from a sister. Um, she's saying, my sister has some problems with her facial appearance. She wants to change uh, something to beautify herself, and she wants to use beautification surgery, uh, plastic surgery and so forth. Um, she wants to know, is this permissible, Sheikh? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبيه ومصطفى صطفى Praise be to Allah, we praise him and we seek his help Whomsoever Allah guides is the truly guided one And whomsoever Allah leaves astray, no one can show him guidance May the best peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم And in the beginning of this episode of uh, Ask Huda The first episode in the month of Ramadan, I would like to extend my congratulation to the entire Ummah with a happy and blessed Ramadan. May Allah accept the best of our deeds from all of us. Amen. Concerning cosmetic surgeries, we said it's only permissible in the following conditions. If one was uh, exposed to an accident that changed anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in him originally, and now he needed it to restore it to its original condition, such as breaking bones. Somebody uh, gets a shortness uh, in the legs and the arms due to the accident, or any uh, facial changes in this condition to restore it, that is permissible. Also, if somebody was born with any deformity that is causing him difficulty, such as difficulty of breathing, if the nose is so narrow and tight that the nostrils do not enable the person to breathe uh, peacefully and uh, easily. In this condition, undergoing cosmetic surgeries is not for the purpose of purification. Rather, it is for the purpose of making one's life easy. In this condition, it is permissible. But the cosmetic surgeries, which are merely and simply for purification, somebody doesn't like uh, the, the size of his or her nose, the eyebrows, the lips, enlargement of certain body organs, all of that is totally prohibited. And that's concluded from the sound hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ has cursed and said Allah has cursed those who change their creation, the way they look, either by plucking the eyebrows and making them thin, whether for men or women, or wearing a wig to appear other than what they originally appeared. That's of course different than hair transplant. If somebody was born with hair and then started, he or she started losing hair <coughs> because of a medication, chemo or whatever, in this condition it's permissible to uh, go for hair transplant because they take from your own hair and plant it somewhere else in, in, in areas which is experiencing alopecia and so forth. But uh, simply for purification, that's totally, totally prohibited. As the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that they file their teeth they pluck their eyebrows, or they have a tattoo against their bodies. And Nabi Sallallahu said, "Al-Mughayrati li Khalqillah, Al-Mutafalijati li Husn, Al-Mughayrati li Khalqillah." So initially, he said they do that uh, simply seeking a purification to look pretty, and that is changing the creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And such people are cursed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you somehow that this is a perfect creation. You're not allowed to change it. And as a matter of fact, one of the whispers of Satan to the children of Adam is as he promised. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recorded his statement in the Quran. He said, وَلَآمُرَنَّهُمْ فَلَيُغَيِّرُنَّ خَلْقَ اللَّهِ And I shall command them through whispering and making it seem fair and okay to them to change the creation of Allah. So the true believers should totally stay away from that, even if somebody convinces them it's a simple process, it's just one time sin, then you repent afterward. That is a sin that is considered as a major sin. Jazakallah